For the first time in its 183-year history, the South Australian State Government Building will permanently fly the Australian Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander flags. Highlights For the first time ever four flags have been permanently hung in the Governor's Palace. This is the first time that four flags have been flown in a row at a government building. So far, Aboriginal flags have only been displayed on special occasions. To date, Indigenous peoples' flags have only been displayed on special occasions. The flag-raising ceremony coincides with the start of Reconciliation Week. Governor Francis Adamson said four new flagpoles were erected on the front lawn of the government building, which can be seen from King William Street and North Terrace. This will allow us for the first time ever, to permanently fly four flags, the Australian flag, the South Australian flag, the Australian Aboriginal flag and the Torres Strait Islander flag. I want to do this because there are a lot of important things on the road to reconciliation, but symbolism is definitely part of that. Previously, there were only three flagpoles on the roof of the government building. We only fly Australian Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander flags on very special occasions, Ms. Adamson said. The timing of the flag-raising ceremony coincides with the start of National Reconciliation Week. Ms. Adamson told ABC Radio Adelaide Breakfast she had wanted to change that since she was sworn in as Premier last October. It's relatively easy to change it in the house, in the ballroom, where we welcome a lot of South Australians but it's a little harder to arrange it outside," she said. Inclusion of the logo long overdue. The flag-raising ceremony was held this morning to coincide with the start of National Reconciliation Week. Ms. Adamson said it was long overdue. It first flew in 1972 at Tantanyanga, Victoria Square, so that was 50 years ago, she said. These things take time and people don't necessarily pay attention to them, but it's my focus and it's been for many years. I hope it sends a signal of support for reconciliation. There are other things we want to do, but that's what we're focusing on today. South Australia Attorney General Kyam Mayer rates the Australian Aboriginal flag. Aboriginal women and AFL executive Tanya Horsch presents Torres Strait.